Welcome to my lecture online. Here's our first example and we start with an easy example but also it'll help us understand a little bit more of the notation. We were given a function of x and we want to know the first derivative, the second derivative, the third derivative, the fourth derivative. We just keep on going until perhaps we end up with a zero at the end. So when we take the first derivative we're looking for f prime which is the same as writing the derivative with respect to x of the function f, which can be written as df dx, or we can write it as the d dx of the function. We can simply copy it as 3x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus x squared minus 4x plus 2. So all those mean the exact same thing. We're simply taking the derivative with respect to x of our function. And when we do that, here we get 4 times 3, which is 12x to the exponent minus 1, which is to the third power, minus 3 times 2, which is 6x to the exponent minus 1, which is the second power, 2 times 1 is plus 2 exponent x to the exponent minus 1, and we have minus 4, and then the derivative of the constant 2 is simply 0. So that is the first derivative of our original function. If we now take the second derivative, f double prime, that is the same as the d dx of f prime, which is equal to d dx of, well, let's see here, I think I'm getting a bit carried away. What should I write at that point? f prime, which is, uh, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot one thing. I can go ahead and write it like this. Uh, d f prime like that, or simply, the second derivative of the function f with respect to x, like that. And maybe I'll put parentheses around it because I think we prefer little parentheses around it. So that's, again, writing the same thing each time. We're finding the second derivative of the function, or we can write the d dx of the derivative, 12x cubed minus 6x squared plus 2x to the first power minus 4. So all that again means exactly the same thing. Taking the second derivative of the original function is like in the taking the first derivative of the uh, taking the derivative of the first derivative. So when we do that we get 3 times 12 which is 36 x to the second power so it's 3 times 12 x to the 3 minus 1 2 times negative 6 is minus 12 x to the first power and then plus 2, and then the constant drops off. All right, now we're going to take the third derivative. So we're looking for f triple prime, which is equal to the d dx of f double prime, which is equal to the d dx like this of f double prime. So sometimes we can write it like that, or simply the d3 f dx3, like that which is equal to the d dx of the second derivative. So now we take the derivative with respect to x of the second derivative to get the third derivative. Also we write 36x squared minus 12x plus 2. And then we take the derivative of that. So 2 times 36 is 72. x to the first power minus 12. And now we can take the fourth derivative. So now we write f Four derivative, instead of putting four tick marks, we put a four in parentheses, which is equal to the d dx of f triple prime, the third derivative of f, which is equal to the d dx of f triple prime, this, which is equal to d four f dx to the fourth, like that, or which is equal to the d dx, the derivative with respect to x, of the third derivative, and the third derivative is 72x minus 12, and of course the derivative of that is, oop, I forgot an x there, 72x minus 12, and the derivative of that is 72. And finally we can take the fifth derivative, like this, which is equal to the d dx, the derivative with respect to x of f Four, that means the fourth derivative of the function f, which is equal to the d dx of f to the fourth, like this, which is equal to 
the fifth derivative of f with respect to x, that, which is equal to the derivative with respect to x of the fourth derivative, which is 72, and that, of course, is equal to zero because that's a constant. So that's what we mean by higher order derivatives. Each time we take the additional derivative, it's a derivative of the previous derivative. The second derivative is the derivative of the first derivative. The third derivative is the derivative of the second derivative. The fourth derivative is the derivative of the third derivative. And the fifth derivative is the derivative of the fourth derivative. And that is how it's done.